Welcome, welcome. Good morning, Maureen and Shannon. Uh, good morning, Beverly, Tammy. You guys are flocking in early in the morning for some of you. Mm -hmm. uh, welcome, Tanya. We're so glad to see all of you joining us. Uh, this has been our very special time that we'll, we'll announce um, a little bit more as everyone uh, climbs aboard so that we can go. Uh, welcome, Krista and Janice. Welcome, Adam. Boy, it's just exciting to see you all coming along. <clears throat> well, it is time for our official start. And if you are watching from the West Coast of the United States, you get a prize because uh, it's very early for you. Um, we, we've talked to you a bit about uh, this being a surprise lo location. And much of what we do with Kids at Heart in, in these dangerous areas is to look to our local leaders, our staff members, our partners, to um, determine if, if uh, publicity is okay or not. And so um, our National Training Network uh, Coordinator, Director, uh, Sheer and Kalpana have told us that we can tell you in, in this um, video. So we wanna welcome you and invite you to go with us to Nepal. Uh, today, whether it's early morning or late night for you, we're, we're all kind of off of our normal schedules in this one. Um, but Nepal has been uh, just a, an incredible spot. Of course, it's a beautiful, beautiful country. Uh, but one of those places where um, we, we have to be very careful of the government regulations about uh, sharing the gospel. Um, although Shir and Kalpana, they aren't too careful. They're very, they're bold, courageous leaders. And I do want to tell you the very first trip we took, the very where Kids at Heart started with Nepal, uh, was right around when the the great earthquake hit there, and we assumed that we could not go, uh, but but Sher tells us yes, his family is out living in a tent in a field, so that they would be safe, um, and he still wanted to coordinate the work. And from those early days, he has gone on to become our National Training Network Director. So I want to uh, kick it over to you, Cher, to introduce this incredible team. Um, and to the rest of you, welcome to M Nepal. OK, thank you. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, it is my great privilege to introduce myself and especially I praise God for this wonderful opportunity that God gave to me. And also on behalf of Catch and Heart Nepal team, I would like to extend our gratitudes and our heartfelt thanks to Brother Gordon, Pat and all the prayer partners and also all the donors and all the Catch and Heart family from around the globe. Uh, I cordially welcome you all on this webinar, and especially I would like to introduce myself. Uh, some of you may know, um, some of you may not know. My name is Sher, and uh, my wife is Kalpana, and also uh, we do have three sons. Uh, two of them are twins, the first two. So one is studying in USA and another one is in Ireland and the youngest one is with us here in Nepal. So he is also studying. Uh, I have been serving as a national coordinator for Kitchen Heart uh, Nepal and uh, my wife Kalpana, she is uh, a presenter uh, as other Nepali team members you can see in, our, uh, in this uh, uh, board. Uh, ministry, we have involved with the different other ministries as well. So I, I work in Youth for Christ and also my wife serves in an orphanage, uh, which was founded uh, under our vision and missions. Now there are 16 children with us now. So uh, we praise God for this time and especially providing us these opportunities uh, to have this time. So now we are here and uh, for this time, and uh, we are serving in kids and heart uh, in different uh, parts of the country. Thank you uh, this time for, for this time. Thank you too, Sheer. And as we go along, if you have questions, those of you that are, are watching, there's a button at the bottom that says Q&A. And uh, we would love for you to go ahead and ask any questions. We'll have somebody monitoring those and we'll either respond uh, in the Q&A panel 
or we will go ahead and, and ask the panel here. So um, please go ahead and use that button at the bottom. And you might even introduce yourself as we go along. So share and Kalpana, um, uh, we, God bless you. We're so glad to have you on the team. And go ahead and, and share with us about what's happening in Nepal. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for this opportunity again, especially uh, I would like to talk a little bit about the historical background, how Kitchen Heart Ministries started here. Uh, during that time, it was about 2013. I was just uh, uh, serving the website and I found Kitchen Heart International uh, through the website. So then I got connected with the uh, brother uh, Gordon and we communicate uh, each other email for couples of days, couples of times. Uh, and later, uh, brother uh, Gordon connected me with the brother, brother Pat. And again, we started to communicate each other for couples of years. And uh, many times we pray together and also share our thoughts each other. And uh, during that time, we have been praying and thinking how we can uh, do the ministries, I mean, Kitchen Heart Ministry in Nepal. So uh, after a long time prayers uh, in 2016, uh, we got the first team from USA and we started the Kitchen Ministry training here in Nepal. So say, from 2016 to 2022, uh, couples of teams came into Nepal and uh, we trained a lot of uh, young people and especially the Sunday school teachers or uh, children's teacher. Uh, in, according to our record, it shows that uh, uh, more than 150 uh, teachers are being trained from uh, 16, 63 churches in uh, major cities, uh, Nepal, uh, uh, there are two major cities, uh, Pokhara and Kathmandu. So these uh, 150 teachers who were trained uh, now they are helping uh, about 630 children uh, fall deeply love in Jesus Christ every week in Nepal. So uh, even though uh, all of them did not finish their all the module, but still they are uh, serving and they are uh, you know guiding the children in Christ in different ways. Uh, we also have translated our TKM uh, teaching. Yes. Now, we have translated Presenters Net Notebook as well. Uh, 11 of our participants has done the TOT. So now we have a team, even though everyone is not actively involving in the ministries, but uh, eight of us uh, now uh, you know, actively involving in the Kids and Heart Ministry. Uh, who were uh, participated or who had done the TOT. So one more uh, great thing is, as uh, Brother Gordon mentioned that uh, just, uh, you know, 2015, we had a very big earthquake. And uh, during that time in 2016, our team, first team had come. And uh, that first team brought uh, very warm clothes for the children. And we distributed, able to distribute it more than two, uh, 100 children weren't close to them, were especially who were uh, hit by the earthquake or affected by the earthquake in 2015. So these are the things. And we are also having the training. Um, we are trying to have this training, TKM training, once a month. Uh, sometimes it's not being regularly, but we are trying. Now we have uh, finished our module two, and we are praying and we are trying to uh, planning to do the model three. Uh, I think uh, regarding our uh, situation of Nepal, Nepal is a multinational and multicultural, multilingual, and also multi religious country. So you may know that uh, 125 people's groups are in Nepal. And uh, you know, 123 dialects are spoken all over the country. That means every people group has their own heart language or uh, own mother tongue. And I think that it is a big uh, scope for us, our kitchen heart uh, ministry to reach those people groups. Uh, it is according to the census that 40.80% of the total populations are shared by the children who are under the age of 18 in Nepal. So uh, this is the senior year about Nepal so that you may understand a little bit about Nepal. And if you have some questions, then you can ask. 
box. But uh, Nepal Kitchen Heart has made our own kinds of a mission, vision, and our vision is to see every children from every people group of Nepal have be saved in Christ through spiritual guided Nepali Christian teachers. We want to see uh, every Christian children of Nepal be saved in Christ. And our mission is to raise Christian teachers who love the Lord God with all their hearts, with all their soul, with all their strength and with all their mind. And also love their neighbor as themselves and pass this truth to the next generation for Christ alone until his coming. So this is our mission that we want to do. Uh, we also have a goal, uh, a long-term goal, but uh, it, it seems very, very vague and big as well, uh, but we are trying. Our long-term goal is a seven years goal. That is, uh, we want to take TKM training to 77 districts or 125 people groups of Nepal by 2030. So this is uh, 22 or 23 is going to uh, start. So we want to reach uh, whole Nepal. There are 77 districts and we want to reach uh, or take the TKM, uh, TKM training in those, uh, all the districts. Second- Can I interrupt you for just a minute, just so our, our listeners know, TKM stands for Transforming Kids Ministry Training, which is the, the core training that Kids at Heart does, Transforming Kids Ministry. And you also have, have heard uh, Sherry use the, the phrase TOT, which is Training of Trainers. Uh, we have a, a training called Great Trainers Summit, and the people that graduate from uh, Transforming Kids Ministry and want to go on to be prepared to replicate it across their own people groups, attend that great trainer summit where we train the trainers. So share what an incredible vision. Thank you. Yeah. And uh, also we want to raise, you know, train 150 TKM presenters throughout the world, uh, throughout Nepal. Uh, we would like to uh, train two teachers from every district. So 77 into two, that means 154 teachers so that they can continue the kids at heart ministry in their own districts uh, by 2030. And uh, also we have a short term plan, which is uh, for 2023. Uh, according to our plan, we wanna train 80 teachers in Kathmandu and Pokhara uh, from module one to eight in 2023. Especially, we would like to do uh, uh, two, uh, two module or one module each places uh, every month in 2023, so that by the end of 2023, we will have 80 people be trained. Uh, out of these 80 teachers, uh, we know that uh, some people do not do the continue, continues. So that is why we want to say at least 50 participants complete all the eight modules. And out of these 50 per people, we want to say that at least 10 people would be able to become the TKM presenters in 2023, and it will help to carry on the uh, ministry in next year uh, for 2024. So these are the some uh, short goal, short term goal, and long term goal. But there are some big challenges, even though we have a big goal and we wanna we have a big vision and mission we wanna reach. But uh, the main problem or challenges we have been facing is our financial shortage. Uh, Nepal is a developing country and most of our Christians are under the poverty line. So that means our churches uh, are not that much uh, rich in financially or resources. Well. So that is why it's been a very big challenge for us to raise the funds within the local, uh, locally and support the ministry. So it's a really a burden for us and uh, I request to pray. And another challenge we have been facing is availability of the presenters. We have eight presenters, but you know, they, we all are uh, engaged in different ministries for our living or some are in the church, some are our other organizations. Because of that, uh, when we need for the training, and it is hard to aside the time. 
and uh, sometimes we need to travel little uh, you know further and that time is more hard so yeah i finished uh, and so please pray for all these challenges so that we have uh, you know fruitful ministries here in nepal thank you so who on your team could could help us with that question from janet what what are they finding helpful from the training and in in their teaching with children and what are their experiences in the training lo nani haru ko shiksha bata nani hula sikhauni kram bata tapai haru le tyo hamile je sikheko thyo tesbata chai nani haru le kasto anubhav gareko cha bhanne bare ma tapai haru ko kasai ko ke anubhav cha bhanne baadnu hola alikati banara baadda pani huncha aba tapai le bichar garnu hola hai kasto lageko cha I uh, I had one teacher from one teacher, uh, especially from other church, and uh, she was sharing me that uh, when after the training she got back to the church, and she started to teach, you know, according to uh, the learn early learn principles, and she said that uh, when she used that learn principles, childrens were uh, you know learn very fun way. and uh, they learned uh, i mean you know they able to cast one point you know in their relations which was very much uh, helpful uh, for his in her class so she shared me about couples of days ago so yeah thank you now shannon asked uh, do you have any difficulties putting on the trainings there in nepal uh, we you shared some challenges with us but I think Shannon's probably referring to um, is it is there government pressure is it okay for you to put these on uh regarding the challenges yeah there are lots of challenges especially uh government is uh, you know we have uh, the policy you know that acts anti conversion law which is a uh, very big pressure for us and are not allowed to share the gospel uh, openly and uh, it is uh, like a even um, like a child rights things like that uh, now government has uh, um, have a policy that uh, no children under the age is uh, you know is taught any religious things so which is very big challenge for us we cannot it is said that we cannot teach any religious things religious uh, you know belief to the children and so this is very big challenge very difficult for us i mean you know we are committed to uh, teach the children about love of god but uh, government policies are just against us so this is a big challenge and and when you have um, you know gone against that challenge and faced that uh, what sorts of changes have you seen in the children that you all work with have the kids at heart materials brought them closer to jesus have you have you seen impact in their lives um our our way of training is very different than many places so we're just interested in knowing if it's actually making a difference in your country uh in my experience that uh, i saw that uh, this materials is so much uh, you know as you said that it is different than the other materials and it is based on the uh, children interest and children's uh, you know side so that is why um, the children could learn i mean they can understand uh, what we can uh, teach uh, many times we uh, before our training we used to say you we used to go to the uh, our sunday school or our you know son, uh, children school uh, without preparation and thinking that whatever we know we want to share and uh, to teach them but after this training we learned that not uh, uh, what we are learned but it is based on our children's need and their understanding and preparation is very important before we enter into the class so most of our teachers are now saying that uh, um after this training they you know compelled or they uh, they th thought that uh, we they need to be planned they need to be pray they need to be hear uh, the voice of god before they go to the class and that is more effective 
uh, because what uh, because whatever they learn, whatever they heard from God, when they share, it is more effective. And children are uh, coming near to God, and uh, they are being more close to God. Oh, excellent share. Um, and uh, yes, as we talk about preparation, we're not talking about how many Sunday school teachers think of preparation as learning what the teacher's guide means, but uh, preparation, as you shared, of of our own hearts and our, our own relationship with Jesus before we even think about teaching a child. We have just one or two minutes left, and I know Gunja had planned on sharing. Um, Gunja, would you go ahead and, and uh, share with us now? We have just one or two minutes left. Gunja, you can share with us a little bit, and I'll translate it. I'll translate it in English. I'll translate it in English. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, involved uh, from the beginning 2016 in this administration. <laughs> I prayed and uh, involved in the ministry in Kathmandu. I got a chance to join in three days training, which was from Kitchen Heart. So, I was in the first place. There were lots of uh, things that we learned, but one the the one of them is um, the rage uh, the children in uh, in a valuable way or a great way. And two songs in your Bible go to Kerala Mojana so Marcus. Uh, from Mark uh, 12, uh, 30, uh, 38. There are five things which are mentioned there. When we raise our children, uh, we need to know the heart, kids, children's heart first. And there is a Bible. Uh, the and mind, understanding. Last the relationship. The Mm -hmm. And during that time, I learned that uh, if uh, when our heart, I may have any permission ma toiri avastama rahina bani. If our heart is not ready for God, kosiriji tu sana jo permission le sisti gori ko nani ko ridha lan pujna saksonda. Mani prasna ji mir monai. If we could not understand our heart, prepare our heart with. Understand our children's heart. And uh, then when I learned, then I submitted or committed my heart to the Lord. Uh, in the Holy Spirit, anointing of the Holy Spirit. And um, I, I want to share, uh, share if you would tell your team, I think uh, Krista's words are a great goodbye. She says, this is beautiful. 
एकदम रामरो रे हाई कृष्णा ले बने का सारे हाई I love your vision of reaching children from every people group. अने हमें ले चुन दर्शन रखे कुछ हम अपने हर एक मानिस रो को हर एक नाइन रो का मापूंगे बने चुन दर्शन सा I love how you, I love how you're doing this. Thank you. And yes, most good answer. It does make Kushi like yes, sir. Thank you. What you listeners have just been hearing is Nepali, and of course, um, that's part of part of our challenge is to um, get the training materials into various people groups, people and mother tongues, which um, we 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 do as the ministry grows in each area. This has been great. I'd love to come back to Nepal at some point. There's so much more to hear. Um, the, for those of you listening, uh, do log in to uh, www.kidsatheart.org, and we will be having there on the on the home page the past recordings, this recording, and uh, next week is our last opportunity to let's go with Kids at Heart. We'll be going to uh, Latin America. Thank you, uh, uh, team from Nepal. Let me just pray as we sign off. Dear God, thank you for these incredible brothers and sisters. Thank you for all they are doing um, in, in a just a very multi world that they live in. Uh, thank you for their love for you and their love for children. And uh, may you be with them and walk with them and assure them of your presence and your peace in Christ's name. Amen. Thank you all for joining us. Thank you, Nep uh, Nepali team. Uh, we appreciate you. And uh, until next time, listeners, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much for this opportunity. We are so much blessed and seeing all. Yeah. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah.